Okay, so like we said, this is about WhatsApp. For some of you, it might be new. You wanna learn a little bit more about how to use it. If you're brand new to it, then you wanna be able to install it. And we're gonna talk about all that, how to download it, where to download it from, and what kind of features. First of all, you need to know it's free. I don't know if many of you or any of you were Skype users at one time. I haven't logged on to Skype in probably two years. WhatsApp has taken over. Much like everything else in the world, it's owned by Facebook. So it's a WhatsApp app owned by Facebook, but it is free. It is a messaging application. It's got video and audio. You can choose to turn your video on or off throughout a call. Free, how many times can I mention it? It's free to use. As an example, I have a son that lives in Detroit, Michigan. I'm in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. If I were to call him, I would incur long distance calls or long distance charges. Instead, we WhatsApp with each other. And it's nicer because it's a video platform so I can see him as well. Texting, same thing, free calling or video chat. Works on both Apple and Android devices. Downloading the apps, we'll get to that in a second. So it's important to know that the application itself I use it primarily in my family. I'm the only one in my family that has an Android device. I have a Samsung phone that runs, that runs Android. My kids, my husband, they all have iPhones. So with iPhones, they can do what's called FaceTime with each other, but they can't FaceTime me because I've got a different platform of phone. So for WhatsApp, it crosses that bridge, all right? So it's great for mixed families, mixed devices. The next thing we wanna talk about is how you use it. You can use it primarily on your smartphone, on tablets, so your iPads, your Surface Pros, whatever kind of tablets you may have. You can also use it on your computer, but there are some limitations if you use it on the computer. So we should focus primarily on using it on your phones or on your tablets. Some features are not workable on a computer, laptop, or desktop. So for the most part, you're gonna be using the application on your phone or your tablet, okay? Getting it, where do you get it from? So I'm gonna assume that you guys know how to download applications on your iPhones, right? You go to the iTunes store and you're going to type in WhatsApp in the search window. Same as you would have downloaded Candy Crush or any other game on or application for your iPhone, you're going to go to the iTunes store. You're going to type in WhatsApp in the search window. You're going to click on search or hit enter, and you're going to get choices. That's how you do it for an iPhone. For an Android phone, you go to what's called the Play Store. And again, if you've got an Android powered device, you're familiar with the Play Store. Same idea, go to your Play Store. In the search bar, you're going to type in WhatsApp and hit enter. Both things exactly the same. Go to the iTunes Store, go to the Play Store, type in WhatsApp, hit enter, and you're going to get choices. This is the only choice that you want to see. It's the green square with the white receiver in it. There will be others that will show up in your search window, 
this is what you want. You want the WhatsApp and you want to get it or install it. Okay. So we've talked about getting it for the iPhone, getting it for the Android phone. Once it's on your device, then you simply open it up. Now, if you're doing it on a computer, which again is not the primary recommended means to use WhatsApp, but you can go to this URL, which we are not going to demo, www.whatsapp.com slash download and follow the instructions. Well, we're going to focus on mobile devices for the purpose of this presentation. All right. All right. Again, speaking about the web.whatsapp.com, this is going to work well enough if you've already got WhatsApp installed and signed in from your mobile phone or tablet. All right. Once you've done that, you can use the web version. It's just not as feature full. Let's talk about getting it. Once you first got WhatsApp, when it's opened on your device, welcome to the app, agree to the, to the terms of service and continue. Click on it and away you go. The only thing that WhatsApp cares about initially is your phone number, mobile phone number, not your house phone, not your landline, enter your mobile phone number, choose your country of origin. The country code will automatically populate. So again, assuming you're in North America, everybody's a plus one, and then enter your phone number using the pad below. Once you've entered your phone number, just click done, you're on your way. You will be asked to enter a verification code that you will get as a text message on your phone. Because you entered your phone number on the previous screen, it's gonna send you a code to make sure that you're you. You've probably run into this for other things as well, but this is a security verification code. So you entered your phone number up here. As soon as you hit done, you're going to get a message on your mobile phone, a six digit number. Once you receive that message, the same way you would any other text message, open it up, check out what the code number is that you've been sent, enter it in, Again, using the keypad below, and then click Next. So far, so good. You're following instructions. You're doing everything that you're being asked to do, not jumping ahead. You're on your way. The final setup is to put your name and a photo if you want. And I'll show you mine later. You can put your name however you want to be known. So if you are a Matthew Smith, you can put Matt. If you are Anne Marie Schofield, like me, I just put AMS because I put AMS for everything rather than write out Anne Marie Schofield. So I put my name, typing it in using the keys on your phone, the way you always type, Adding a photo is optional, but if you were to click on this, then you simply would be taken to your gallery on your phone. Um, when Guillermo joined this call, he showed a picture of his dog. So Guillermo could click add photo, and then he could browse to a digitized or a scanned image of his dog and put it here. You can put any photo you want in here. Does not have to be your face. It can be anything. You can also put nothing. All right. 
once you've entered your name as you want to be seen, and once you've chosen whether or not to add the photo, you're done. Now, it says here that you may also be asked to provide an, an optional six digit passcode. So just talking a little bit about, um, whoops, just talking a little bit about security. This is becoming more prevalent in a lot of applications. It's called two-step verification where it used to be good enough to just put in a password or a PIN number, a lot of applications are now suggesting two-step verification, which simply means you're putting in your password and you may also be asked for a secondary form of identification. That's not always the case with WhatsApp, depends where you get it from, what version you get, or how advanced it has become. When I did mine, it didn't ask for the optional six digit passcode, okay? Again, it's optional. You don't have to do it. You put in your name, you've chosen whether or not to add a photo, and then you're done, all right? Once you've added your name and a photo, if you want, you can add a personalized message, like on Facebook or Instagram, you can choose a status, whether you're available or not. This is optional, all right? If you don't put anything here for your status, WhatsApp defaults to a message that says, hey, I'm on WhatsApp, that's it. It is not necessary or required. Quite frankly, I've never even looked at it. I'm either on it or I'm off of it and I don't care what my status says one way or the other. So this is not mandatory, again, your choice. Now, contacts, how do you talk to somebody? You can only talk to somebody that also has WhatsApp. So to, to be clear, if you have a friend and you know their phone number, if they've got WhatsApp installed, you can find them, okay? You can create new chats by looking for people, but you're only gonna find people that have the app installed. If you want to chat with someone and they don't have WhatsApp, just ask them to install it the same as you did. Once you build your chat list, this will populate with more and more and more people. So every time you accept a chat, every time you initiate a chat, you're going to continue to get more and more people in this window. But again, texting someone is different than WhatsApping with someone. You can text with anyone whose phone number you know, but you can only WhatsApp with someone who also has the app installed. So two very different things. So if you wanna find somebody, you click on a new contact in your menu, in the application, you would click on a new contact and you would type in their name. And if they have WhatsApp, they will, you will find them. You can also import your contacts from your phone. And that's something we can get into in more detail. But for now, you can have singular contacts. You can even have group chats. If you want to chat with somebody from another country, when you build their contact into the application, 
make sure you know their phone number, right? With the correct country call. So if they're not in North America, it would be if they're in France, it's plus, what is plus four, four or England plus four, four, I think. France plus three, four. You can build a contact list if you know their phone number. But you can't actually chat with them unless they install the application. WhatsApp also saves all your conversations. So you don't have to start new chats with existing people. And I'll show you that in a second. Once you start a chat, it's just like texting. You're just texting in the same field. You hit enter when you're done. You can add pictures. You can chat by video or just audio or typing. Three choices. So a regular chat, a regular texting session is just your basic typing. These little icons on the top allows you to audio call that person or video call that person. When you use these options, they're going to ring on the WhatsApp at the other end. That's why I said WhatsApp to WhatsApp. So if you choose to video call someone by clicking this button, it's going to show up on their phone through WhatsApp. Everything is happening through WhatsApp. Audio only or video and audio. If you don't want to type, you can use the microphone icon. By clicking the microphone icon, you can record your message. Okay. If you receive or make a call, this is how it'll look. So you're answering the call through WhatsApp. You can also have up to eight people on a group call and there's no time limit and it's free. We need to keep mentioning that it's free. No long distance charges. The only charges you would incur are data charges. So if you're not on Wi-Fi, if you're just out and about, then you would incur data charges. Now, as I mentioned before, if you're on Wi-Fi, if you're using, whether you're using Wi-Fi or data charges, regular cell service, much like Zoom calls, okay? If you've got a poor connection, WhatsApp is going to behave poorly. If you're in a poor video call, you'd probably be better off to revert strictly to audio because video takes a lot more bandwidth, all right? So you do need an internet connection, whether it's through Wi-Fi or whether it's through your cell provider. If your signal is bad, then you're going to get choppy audio. You're going to get bad video, pixelated video. So if you're in a bad call, that's likely the reason why find a stronger signal and try again. Uh, so we've talked about calling. You can make a call using the, um, the new call symbol. That's why it's got a plus sign at the top. You can make existing calls. Sorry, you can make calls to existing contacts and it also shows you statuses. So if you called Brenda, it's an outgoing call. It also shows that you missed two calls. And it also shows you what kind of call you missed. 
In this case, it was a video call because it shows the camera. Yeah, I just want to quickly show you that if you're in a video call, you can add new people singularly by clicking on the head with the plus sign. You can add up to, it still says you can add up to eight, so I haven't tested it with eight. You can flip your camera around. So if you want to show front facing or back facing, that's what this icon is for. Again, if you have maybe a bad quality internet connection, you could turn off the video or you can cho choose to turn it off. You can stop your audio, your voice. You can mute yourself, in other words. And then, of course, you can hang up like a regular call. Um, if you have created groups, so you click on your group and then you can make the call and it will ring through WhatsApp on every one of their phones. Now, if one of them chooses not to answer, you can still maintain the call with those that do answer. If you want to change your password or anything else, you can go to the profile, you can click on your account, and you can make changes to your name. You could make changes to the picture. You could make changes to your notifications. I can tell you, I've never changed anything. I've changed the picture once. Not a lot that goes on in there. We talked about security. You can set up the two-step verification as we talked about earlier. As far as privacy goes, there's an option to make your account private so that if I suddenly got a hold of your cell phone number, I don't know you, but if somebody gave me your cell phone number, you could make your account private so I wouldn't be able to add you to WhatsApp. If you decide you don't ever want it again, you can delete the account. The best way to get into this is to get into it. You can't break anything. It doesn't hurt to install the application and then get into it. Deleting your account only deletes WhatsApp. You're not going to harm your phone number. You're not going to harm your text messaging that you've already got. You're not going to delete your contact list. It's only going to delete your WhatsApp contacts, your WhatsApp messaging, just WhatsApp. So if for some reason you decide you never want to use it again, then you might want to delete it. 